Hello and welcome to my next video. My name is Freedom Prodigy and today I'm going to be flying a rented arrow out of Star Citizen. In my last video where I showcased how overpowered missiles were, I, one of the Reddit comments told me to get good because I shot a prospector and things like that. So it got me thinking a bit and I was like, well what would showcase my skills that I am good to the other people to get good, you know, or some shit like that. So how do I comment, you know, like, y'all gotta get good. Well, I already think I am good, so let's see. Am I am any good? Well, the only way to really truly find out is to take a non-meta ship and whoop meta ship ass displaying decent combat pilot tactics and skills, controlling the fight. So, in this episode, that's what we gonna do. I'm on a server right now where I've already identified uh, a bunch of people that are engaging in PvP dogfighting around uh, Grim Hex Yella, which is an awesome place to dogfight. No comma ray, so you don't get crime stat. You can just sit there and spawn through Grim Hex after you land and just keep going and fighting. It's a great place, um, you know. And then uh, there's asteroids there, so it's obstacles. You got missiles, people fighting. It's a pretty big party over here, so I'm excited. Yeah, let's see how well we do in the rented arrow. I, what I've gone ahead and done is I've uh, overclocked all of my weapons. Well, I overclocked the scorpion re ballistic repeaters and then I max out the power um, for the laser repeaters. If you overclock the laser repeaters, they have a tendency to overheat really, really, really fast. And then that doesn't really work uh, when you're trying to have a dogfight because you kind of need a little bit more uh, sustained rate of fire than just a quick overheat. And uh, so when you don't overclock and you slide the power bar, that's when you're able to, uh, you know, get that shit. Fuck, what? Oh, I'm in attack! Here we go, it begins. Okay, well, who's our opponent? Round one. Anvil Hawk, piloted by Kanad Buell. And he's charging his EMP. All right, Ole, pal. Oh, yeah. Got a little bit away from it. Got the shields. Good EMP. I'm gonna get some distance, break away a bit. I'm not really trying to do this. Let's see. Is he gonna run away as soon as I lock him with missiles? No, he's staying in the fight. Okay, so he's committed. Yeah, he's definitely up for a dog fight. Another EMP inbound. Ouch. Okay, not too bad. Not, 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 not be completely down. He doesn't seem to be scared by missile lock or anything like that, so we probably could just fuck him up real quick if he wants some missiles. But, uh, you know, fuck that. Get the gimbals back on, Bell. Not gonna hit him at that speed. Right now, this guy is jousting. Um, I'm not going too fast, but he's definitely flying by. So let's see. Get some hits right here, kind of dodges things. Another EMP about. Looks like I dodged that one. That's good. Yeah, he's definitely, why well, I'm going fast. We're definitely jousting currently right now, so I'm gonna slow this fight down. I'm gonna let him come start coming to me and I'm gonna bring him into my domain rather than continue to stay in his where he had the advantage. So we're gonna we're gonna pause that combat, right? So that fight, that initial fight's over. Right now we're gonna have to re-engagement and it's gonna be under my terms. You know, as you can see, slowly approaching, I'm going backwards right now to a little bit allow him to catch up in my pace. He's in range, gonna freeze fire and do a little spin, get some good hits on him. He's using all ballistics. Oh, he's gonna hit me with another EMP. But my shields are full, so I should be okay right now. Did he go away? No. Okay, so he's gonna... Come on, hit it. Come on. Discharge it. Oh shit, he actually knocked my shield down on that one. Okay, I need it back. I need to break contact again. Give my chance uh give my shields a chance to respawn right there. Or regen. You can see it right around 2,000 meters is a pretty good distance to stay out of the rate of fire. And then we bring it in closer. You know, 50, 1,700, 1,500 meters is our really you know, ideal engagement range. Okay, so go back to the joust. But I'm controlling the fight this time, bringing him to me, EMP again. Not too bad. Can't really sit in there and take another hit like this. So We'll just use our extreme maneuverability in the arrow to dodge as many hits as possible. Not only allowing him any sustained rate of damage. Can we go back in? Decouple. Just for a brief moment. A weird change of angle. He's coming in with the EMP again. God damn, I'm getting tired of this motherfucking EMP. Alright. You wanna keep using this EMP, bro? I'm gonna use my missiles. 
you're gonna knock my shields down, I'm gonna knock your shields down. I am now adapting to his fight style, right? Go, one, one good, because he's not scared of the missiles, which tells me I can launch him. And then I'm gonna get him when he's slow. Not gonna launch it when he's fast. Some good hits, his shields are down. I missed on that EMP. Keep my left side to him, because I don't want my shields to get completely down. Nice, now he is gonna die. I'm gonna kill him on missiles, just because he attacked me and he's really hungry with these EMPs. And uh, yeah misses out and he doesn't run from him so it's uh you know why not you're dead boom good fight good fight ggs definitely did a bunch of damage i could have stayed in that fight and won it um however it's kind of unfair when he's sitting there emping me and getting my shields down so i just uh matched him with missiles so you know, that's just how the fight ended up being dictated by him you know i'm adapting to what he is and i'm controlling the fight my way man goes down he was a jouster pilot, so a little too too high speed, but still, not not your average pilot, not 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 that bad. Really good on the EMPs. He definitely timed the EMPs very well. I think I took like four or five EMP hits. As long as my power doesn't go off, I'm super maneuverable, so it's hard to get that like, sustain rate of fire. Okay, where's Grim Hex? Over here, go to home three. Do a little chug of the game fuel. Stay hydrated. That was a good fight, I enjoyed that. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Stock arrow, by the way. There's a guy out here who's coming. If I go out to Groom Hex in my era, how quickly would I die? Very quickly. Very. If you're brand new. But hey, you know, die a 10,000 times to get good. I did it. I get my ass whooped for weeks on end. You know, just a matter of uh, game experience and practice. That's how anybody gets good. Okay, let's see what's going on over here. I'm definitely going to need to repair. Before I'm a next engagement because everybody's in the meta ballistics right now and I honestly I gotta say I think a combination of ballistics and laser repeaters is really what you want to do it's really good the lasers help knock the shields down and you also get the penetration from the ballistic it's a good blend now we got a bunch of NPCs bunch of NPCs dicks over here is my bounty that means his buddies have got to be over here I see a couple ships Pirate Gladius, I'm taking off there. I think it's a saber. And Gladius is looking right down at me. I can see a shadow. Let's go ahead and get rearmed and repaired. That was damaged. 530 something. I feel like someone is watching me at Grim Hex. You ever get that feeling when you're at Grim Hex? I wonder what's giving me that. Bunch of mov bunch of movement. Alright, party time. Swing! All right, so let's break up the pack a bit, see who's gonna chase us behind the asteroid. Okay, I've got one ship, two ship, three ships. Got a red and a green going that, you know, behind the asteroid. We'll dip around. Is Dick gonna engage? Nope, he is not even looking at me. Okay, okay. So maybe they're engaged in a fight already. Let's take a look. Dick is not pursuing. Got somebody to my right over here. Who are you? Who are you? Oh shit, you're an eclipse? Hey, this is, a, this is dog fighting, bruh. No clips is allowed! How dare you bring this torque boat into our house? Into this dojo of pain and martial martial arts of space combat. Unacceptable. No eclipses allowed. That's one thing in Party Run. You, you get here and you have a 1v1 and then you just get torqued and you're just like, I know that guy's missiles didn't kill me in one shot. Right? It's that rogue torque person. Now we got a good playing ground. Looks like Dick and Wolfful Iron of Doom are in the Thunderdome. Currently engaged in the Jow Circle strafe to run an asteroid of Grim Hex. Dick is low, taking hits and punishing the 325A. Definitely outmaneuvered by the Gladius, but there is a size four gimbal, or a size four whip, size four gimbal three,
Oh, jeez, we're getting shot at. Oh, bob and weave, bob and weave. Ah! Okay. Green gauge. Let's see there. Who is this? Oh, it's Gizmo. All right. All right, Gizmo, you want to fight? Okay, let's do this, man. I don't want to be hit by your bullets. Don't hit me with your bullets. Dodge. Bob and weave. Hip dodge. Left guy dodge. Pops on you. Pew, pew. I ain't afraid to fight Let's say bear. Come on, let's go. Right, this gas, man. It's gonna, it's gonna rip through my hull quick if I'm not careful. Let's see if we can knock the shields down before it blows up my hull. Got a good, got a good split second on him. A little bit of a joust, but not like crazy. So this is good. He's a better pilot for sure. Okay. from all these damn ballistics. Oh, he's got a good hit there. Oh, I shouldn't have faced that one. Ow. That was uh, get around with my shield heal. Oh, the invisible asteroids. Well, can't do anything about that. I thought I was going underneath that asteroid, and I was, but there must be an invisible collision there. That's pretty typical about Grim Hex, so, uh, well, that's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> oh, good old invisible asteroids. That's making fun of me. Watch out for the rock. Who put that there? See, this is the kind of good banter I enjoy, you know? You hit a rock, you get a good laugh out of it, a little bit of shit talking, nothing disrespectful. It's just good old combat fun. You know, people say PvP and Star Citizen's dead. It's not dead, it's just your attitude towards it. All right, so as you can see here, we are definitely, let me close my, uh, my background right here. This is definitely a rented arrow. I got 30 days. Rented arrow time. So this ain't no joke. This is no fluffy, bluffy, you know, boasting post. This is just, we're taking a ship as is, going out, and we're just going to fight people. That's it. See that rented? 639 hours. No problem. Bravo 02. Let's get it. All right, coming back into Grim. Okay, who's around right now? Alright, there's Gizmo. Look, he's chasing or running from somebody. Somebody's radar logging me. Got Wolf and then Dick next to each other, the butt buddies and the gladiuses. There's Gizmo. I don't think any somebody's locked me, but nobody's engaging me. Oh, they just took the lock off. Okay. The green guy down here. Well, who are you? Oh, it's Kanad. Guess what, baby? My turn to ambush. Sucker! Round two, motherfucker! Ole! Now we dance. We dance if you want to. You gonna shoot, pal? I'm not even in gimbal right now, so I guess no matter. Okay, yeah. All right, now we fight. Oh, there's a rock. That one wasn't invisible. I saw that one. All right, let's get away from here. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I did not uh, adjust the weapons. So this would be a good combat maneuver. I gotta bounce away for a bit. Let me get this going. We'll just slowly drift away for a bit while we go down. All right, four clicks, this should be good. We got our power items, and then we will scroll power here, scroll power there, and then overclock the score. And this will allow for a really good consistent save of fire. Yes, much better. Now we're more competitive. It's less jousty right now, or less fast joust, because we're inside of Grim Hex. So I should be able to win the uh, maneuverability fight. I'll lose the attrition phase tank fight. Can definitely get him. That one. He's got the shot on me there. I won't engage. Now we're gonna go maneuverability over maneuverability. He does a thunder down, my friend. Ooh, the shields. Oh, we're committing. We're in the circle strafe of death. We're gonna commit. I can feel it. Watch 
shit's going down. All right, you know what? Let's go for it. We're all in. All in, full send. He's not EMP and I'm not using missiles. We're just straight up dog fighting. Now it's a battle of face tank attrition. I barely won that. <laughs> Kill. Kill for the arrow. Oh shit. Oh, whoa, whoa, who's shooting me, bro? Who is this? Who is this? Oh, Le Saber. Okay, alright, got a Le Saber. He's trying to sneak in. Huh? It's a little bit rude. Rude, bro. My shields are down after a fight. Test, test, test. That's okay. I mean, good on him, man. Solid advantage, take it, you know? Combat's combat. I'd be dumb to sit there and just take it and try and fight him. I just gotta run away and dodge his bullets. Okay. Alright, I think this is much better. Alright, gotta dodge, he's still shooting. Olay, sir. You have been tagged. It's coming at me hard. Come on, boss. Come on, boss. My cockpit's red. I can't do another. I can't do two attrition battles versus Gats. Come on, man. There's no way I'll win this. I'll die real quick. My cockpit's already red. I can't take this fight. Not not until I repair. I'll beat him back over to Grim Hex and uh, repair and rearm. It's the only way I'll be able to engage him and have somewhat of a chance. I'll lose quick with a red cockpit and... Uh, ballistic penetration, so. You don't have to sit and take every fight. You know, go back, repair, and re-engage. Re Again, he had started that fight. He was in control. My shields were down. I was also, you know, very injured from the previous fight where I did face tank a hawk, so. Yeah. I mean, in theory, I should absolutely lose to the firepower of a saber. He just let a guy uh, the armor repair first, huh? Okay, now we're ready. Where is he at? Got a ship way out there. Don't see the saber. Bogey. Over here. Oh, there he is. Ole. Disappear. Another Star Runner and another Eclipse. Oh, that's why Gizmo disappeared. He running. Okay. Gizmo running. Star Runner. Shoot him. He's got a missile. Catch up with him. He's got his shields up, so it'll take a little bit longer to kill. So. He's definitely chasing Gizmo, I believe. He's chasing somebody. That's what I know. He's chasing somebody. He's running. He just QT'd. Alright. So that was a waste of a missile. He didn't go to Yella. Where did he go? Oh, he's going to dip. Not a crusader, they're at the comma ray. So that means probably Dick and Wolf are there. You know, they honor the 1v1, so I appreciate that. I want that eclipse though. I can taste the blood of the Eclipse. I need it. Come to me, Eclipse. My rented arrow. Probably beat me there. He's lined up. Two misses left. I think those are the little misses, not even my big ones. That's right, I just need to get close to the Eclipse and I'll die. Coming in. see Gizmo. There's Wolf and his Pyre Gladius. Don't see the Eclipse. Let's let him know. Wolf, I'm hunting the Eclipse! Because I know Wolf's monitoring comms, or at least local chat. Okay, so he, he says oh. And he hasn't fired at me. He snuck away from me. 
is a slippery little eclipse. That slippery bastard. Don't see anything on my mini radar. Didn't come in, so he probably went stealth. Oops, I didn't want to shoot. Give it a spool. Listen up. 4,000 meters. Oh shit, this is definitely him. Yep, there he is. I found him. Oh fucker, you're dead. You're dead, bud. Come here, Eclipse. No Eclipse is allowed in the realm of dogfighting. Well, he doesn't understand that because he's trying to dogfight an arrow. That's a mistake, pal. You need to run. You need to run. He's trying to run. He's trying to run. He's trying to run. He's probably spooling. Get him. Oh, the missile missed. Uh, this is going to be close. Boom. Crime rating increased. Yikes. That's right. <laughs> We're fighting around a calmer way. I have just committed murder. I went bloodthirsty for the eclipse. I don't care. It was worth it. Oopsie. Alright. Who's this green guy? Oh, Kanad went to arrow. Okay. Does he want to fight? He wants probably a 1v1 arrow. Mono y mono. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. There's Gizmo. We have an unfinished business, Gizmo. Just kidding, Kanad. You're going to have to wait. Gizmo and I have an unfinished fight. It's been interrupted a couple times. Now we're on even terms. Is Wolf going to. Wolf usually honors the one on one. Okay. So Gizmo's taking it. Gizmo it is. Let's go. I accept your challenge, Gizmo. Take a bunch of face hits right now. Ooh, I'm getting some good hits on him, okay. I guess I'm not as afraid when I'm not, you know, just coming in from a fight where I took a face tank damage. Alright, let's get it. Decouple mode. Ooh, I'm maneuverable. Oh, and the back shields. straight up fight my back shields are down but he's got three shield gens I've got one and my shields are so up so I think I'm winning this I might be winning this my cockpit's starting to get red though so that's the problem it's not the shields I gotta worry about it's my whole health it's all his ballistics but if I can get that front shield down I can start doing some serious damage he might pop if I get the head if I get the cockpit off this this will be a close fight regardless we're doing the jousting but whatever face tank the joust We've committed. This is the first time we've engaged him in a fair fight. Well, I guess second time the asteroid kind of interrupted it. New asteroid this time. It's a lot slower of a fight too, which I appreciate. Yeah, we're, we're committed. Get back here. Get back here. Yep, we're in it. Here it is. Circle strafe begins. Circle strafe of death. Who first one to blow? We're committed. Full thin. Come here. Come here, boy. Come here, Gizmo. Let's get us fight on. Whoever die, I die. <sighs> I lost the battle of hull attrition. Gatlings. But I won the battle of shields. GG's. GG's. Oh, well, I guess that's it. Because now we're at Lorville, which I'm supposed to be at PO. Physic instant stats end. Yep, that's a rip. That's a wrap, chat. We are officially done with this video because the server has now crashed in us and we are no longer a part of that gaming session. And it'll be a pain in the ass to get back in it. Or, and I don't really want to add any of them as friends. So, we'll end that here. As you can see, we definitely got some good combat in. And, uh, yeah. The, the rented arrow. It ain't to be fucked around with, you know. Don't underestimate it. A good pilot can whoop some ass in whatever ship he's in. So, or he or she is in. All right, chat, I'm out. Freedom Prodigy, see you in the next video.